PC1D also has a batch mode feature. This allows users to um, optimize their solutions. Uh, it is quite a handy part of PC1D, so I'm going to show you how it works. So the batch mode file generator that comes with PC1D is a lot more confusing. There's a lot easier way to do it. So I'll show you that um, that mode anyway, and I'll show you why it is hard to understand. So currently batch mode is disabled. So you have the option to obtain batch parameters from an external file. We're going to do that in just a moment, but I'll show you uh, PC1D's interface for creating a batch file. So it's called Quick Batch, and so these are all our parameters. But as you can see, they're quite they're the the parameters are all abbreviated, and it just generally makes it hard to understand. Uh, like I don't know what or or e t is. You know, so this what this makes it a bit confusing. So I generally don't use that PC1D's interface. Luckily, if you go online and you Google PC1D batch or batch file generator, uh, and it's your first link that comes up. So we click on that, and it should load up. Okay, acknowledge and carry on. So now. So the batch file has inputs and outputs. So inputs is the stuff you want to vary. So for example, we go into region parameters and say we want region 2, which is um, for our PV cell is our window. So say we want to vary the thickness of the region um, from say 0.1 micrometer to 10 micrometer and we want to do it in so we want to do it in a hundred steps and we want the steps to be uh, used in a logarithmic scale so yeah and we want to see how the thickness of region 2 or the thickness of the window layer affects the overall performance of your PV cell um, so the most important parameter basically for the performance is the power that you can get out versus the power in. So we want to look at, so our output type, we're going to look at voltage, current and power and we want to see what the P max is, the maximum power is of, um, of our PV cell. So for what is happening now is that for each um, step in the thickness of region 2 PC1D will calculate a P max for you yeah and you can add multiple inputs and multiple outputs so say we want another output we want to look at how this affects the open circuit voltage so base contact open circuit voltage you can see this stuff is a lot easier to read than the abbreviated stuff in the PC1D batch file generator. So this is why I always use the website. So what you do now, so we want to look at the the Pmax, the open circuit voltage and say the short circuit current. So add new output and what we do now is short circuit current base contact. So once we're happy with our file we export and we export batch file it will save it as a .txt file. So generally it's good to name these sensibly. So window thickness um, variation. Something like that. Whatever makes it clear to you what the batch file is doing. So now I'll go into my PC1D file and I'll save it. Okay. So I'm going to go into PC1D. I'm going to open up the um, the gallium arsenide cell we previously designed, and there we go. 
Oh no, I want to open the other one actually, the one that worked better. So the the first cell I'll open. Um okay, so now we go up to compute and we go to batch. So you want to enable batch mode and we want to obtain it from an external file. So we open it up and we can see it's only looking for um .txt files. So our window thickness variation is here. So we open that one up and we press OK. So we'll scroll down to our excitation um, and I want it not as a quantum efficiency scan, I want it under one sun conditions and I want the voltage going from minus 1.1 to 1.1 in uh, I'll keep the time steps low cuz it's gonna have to do this loop a hundred times according to the batch file so I don't want it to be waiting all day well I won't be waiting all day but for the sake of the video I'll keep it quick so now I run it and if you see here we're getting for each thickness we're getting a different power out and you can see the efficiency just generally goes up the thinner your window cell is so um, this batch data can now be copied you can use control C or just copy batch data then you can find which thickness has the optimal efficiency or the optimal open circuit voltage or the opti optimal short circuit current um, so back into our website pvlighthouse.com and you could add another input so add new input, we'll add a few. So uh, we could vary the thickness of the emitter in the base as well. So region two, three, and four, and we could do the same sweep, but um, there will be in issue here I imagine a hundred steps it won't be able to run all them if we permute it this little box means the input sweeps are permuted when checked so that means for each each value of the thickness in region 2 it will run through 10 in for the thickness of region 3 and we'll do 10 again. This will actually be too big for PC1D. I think there's a maximum input loops of around 4,000. Pretty arbitrary, but you just can't go over it. So I'll do it about 30 for each of them. And again, we want to look at the Pmax, the VOC, and the ISC. So batch file, so a window emitter uh, base thickness there so now we can go back into our into our gallium arsenide cell and we'll compute batch open batch so window emitter base thickness variation I'll open up that Oh, I've even gone over the limit. 30 is too much. Um, so I'll have to bring that down to 20. Um, you can see PC1D created a weird error there. It doesn't like too many inputs. So export again as batch file. Uh, and I'll save over the previous one that had too many inputs.
yeah I want to replace it yeah um, and now I can go into compute batch obtain batch parameters from external file yes 300 line oh I'm still over it so 10 just do 10 so that's 10 by 10 so this should be a thousand loops it'll surely um work this time there we go yeah I want to replace it and I'll compute batch open and we pick this one and OK and now this will keep running you can see every loop being worked out for each thickness and what you can do now is you can put this all into an excel sheet you can create a function that finds the maximum power out and so what that is you can then find the corresponding thickness of region 2, 3 and 4 and that gets you your optimum thickness of the regions in your PV cell which is a handy thing to know so it isn't just the thickness you can vary you can vary the doping you can vary pretty much any parameter you define in in PC1D so it is quite a handy tool in order to optimi optimize your simulated PV cell so if we there's device parameters the area of the device lots of things you can vary excitation parameters temperature of the device you can really go mad with these batch files um, their main function though is to optimize you can get the maximum power out and then if you want to simulate your PV cell before and then if you're actually fabricating one you can know the optimal thickness so it is a handy tool